has made a huge investment over the last 20 years, essentially, uh, so forth and so forth. Five G. I think it's time now to start harvesting the fruit of that. This expo is fantastic. It really shows me that China is advancing very quickly in not only its production capacity, but distribution capacity, quality control, and really taking a leadership in digital technologies and e-commerce, you know, which is bringing things directly to people's homes. So I think that if China can help Central Asia, the, uh, the Belt and Road Initiative to, to raise up the populations, to supply more value-added products in the supply chain, that'll be good for China and be good for all of its partners. There's a lot of digital around us here, right? Mm -hmm. There's people who have in their mobile phone a mobile wallet. They will accept Alipay, they will accept whatever, Tencent Pay, whatever other forms of payment. So digital is everywhere. And again, that's often a gap still in our member countries, the capabilities to actually work with digital technology, which is what we discussed a lot this week. China is a member of the Asian Development Bank and a very active one, both in terms of contributing knowledge and knowledge sharing, but also, in fact, implementing projects with our financing. And those are usually really pushing the boundaries of innovation. We're a very young startup biotech company from Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. And this is actually my first time here in uh, Hangzhou. I really love the city. Really impressed with the fast growth of the digital uh, e-commerce. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to work with China.